Antenna 10 continues with no wait weather. Well, as we head to bed tonight, we're undergoing a few changes across the valley. We start our work week with much milder temperatures than we went through this weekend with. In fact, temperatures early this evening are slipping down back to below zero after we enjoyed a high temperature of five above. It's now three below. Feels like 13 below, and the winds all evening have stayed under that uh, 10 mile per hour mark. Now we do have milder temperatures just in the single digits above zero or at zero from Valley City through Oaks and down towards Sisseton. Wapton Breckenridge, you're in that same category. But draw a line from Langdon to Fargo and Detroit Lakes points to the north and east of there are cold. 13 below this hour, the actual air temperature in Bemidji, that's the cold spot. Factor in those five to 10 mile per hour winds and we have a few wind chills that are approaching that 20 below category, including Grand Forks, Hallock, as well as the Devil's Lake area and Langdon. So chilly will be the rule in the early overnight. That's with the clearing skies here. But look at all the snow developing out in the western and central Dakotas. It's all fairly light. A few reports of a half of an inch way out there in the western Dakotas. Your hour by hour forecast shows our temperature right on the money. As we head to bed tonight, they plummet pretty quickly down around 10 below. I pause this at 335 knowing you're not going to be likely up and at them and heading off to work unless you're part of the Valley Today crew. They'll be on their way in. And also, we're going to see an increase in clouds and some flakes making their way into our westernmost counties during the early morning hours. This is associated with a push of warmer air. Now, temperatures to start our day will be between 5 below and 10 below. And actually, we'll be warming up a little bit in our western counties to get the day going right off the bat. The coldest weather will be from the Red River Valley off to the east, where we will have start your day temperatures between 5 below in the Fargo area all the way to 15 below or colder in the Bemidji area. A little bit of wind out there from the east-southeast, cloudy skies. In fact, a lot more clouds and sun from the Red River points to the west. A little bit of sunshine up in the uh, northwestern quadrant of Minnesota. Anywhere we see these clouds, we could have hit or miss flurries of snow throughout our afternoon. Once this system works its way through, this is a warm front, so temperatures will be on their way up. Afternoon highs near around 10 degrees in southeast North Dakota. And our chances of snow pretty much ending late in the day, especially out to the east. Generally, a trace to an inch at most, with the best chance of any accumulation in southeast North Dakota, three below to start your morning in Fargo Moorhead, seven for your midday hour, and we'll see those clouds out there yielding a few flakes of snow. 11 the afternoon temperature on your way home from work. Elsewhere, your hometown forecast single digits up in the Northland, so you'll be warming up to zero or above in the afternoon. Spotty flurries mainly in our southern counties as we go through the afternoon with temperatures on your way home from work around 10 degrees. A lot of sun dogs barking out there. These in Pelican Rapids and the temperatures are on their way up as we take a look at Wednesday. 20 balmy degrees. Thursday a little bit of a setback. Back down to a high of 11. A morning low on Friday of 4 below but then a weekend to remember especially compared to this past weekend. Temperatures around 30 degrees above with a flurry or two on Sunday. Double well digits done. above are great. Ooh, it'll be uh, sweaty this week. Yes, yes, thank you, Hutch. Mm -hmm. Well, the price of crude oil drops again. Still to come, how the recent decline will be affecting your pocketbook at the pump. And have you made a trip to the pharmacy lately? What you'll need to know before you make your next visit. Stay tuned.